Hey, it's Sana. So please excuse my hair, it's tied up because obviously it's a mess, I need to wash it. So I just shoved it up and I'm still gonna get on camera because we really are pushing through these goddamn fears of getting on camera without makeup and without being completely like presentable and perfect and all of this stuff. So I wanted to come on here anyway because I saw the other day somebody tweeting about how like no one really speaks about the difficulty of like going from the astral realm into the physical like when you wake up in the morning and you have to readjust your mind because you've just gone from whatever dream you were having and now like for most people their alarm goes off and I hate alarms because it always makes me jump and then it like interrupts my dream <laughs> which sounds so silly but I always would hate alarms and I could never ever get up with them so like my alarm would go off and then it happens even now and then like I just feel all like oh kind of like flustered and then it takes me a while to readjust back to this reality you know so I tend to like not be a morning person like don't speak to me in the morning I don't want to speak to you let me just be by myself and try and like, I don't know, figure out where the hell I am, you know? Like I just have to try and readjust myself completely. And I feel like we don't really talk about this that much. Like I agree with what the tweet said because you are going from one round where you can literally, like it's infinite ability. You can go to any planet, you can go to any, anything that you can even think of you can go and experience that in the astral realm like in your dream state and then when you come back here it's like you're back in a body you're back in whatever circumstance that you're in you know like all of that limitation just kind of comes back on you and it can feel really really heavy so this is kind of like um putting into perspective and helping make sense of some states that I was in, especially a few years ago, like in 2016 and 2017, I was so miserable. Like when I tell you I was miserable, I was fucking miserable. I was so unhappy with my life and kept trying to like, I wanted to change it and I have so much passion to change it. Like I'm a life path number four, which is all about like doing and business. And like, I always wanted to do and I had in my head what I wanted to do, but just, I don't know, like there was a blockage and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. You know, I was in such a depressive state. And while in that phase, I was also in a toxic fucking relationship as well, but that's a whole other story. So there was a lot going on. And while I was like in that state, whenever I would wake up in the morning, literally I didn't want to wake up. So like, you know, like when you wake up and then you go to get out of bed, you know, like you have all of these thoughts and then you're about to get out of bed kind of thing. My thoughts would always be like, let's just stay in bed. Let's just go back to sleep. Like, I don't actually care to get up right now. Like, I feel in a funky mood. So let me just try and adjust this. Let me go back to sleep and think about something that's going to make me want to get out of bed, you know? Like, I would try and come up with some kind of plan to change my mindset so that I would get up. And I did this for so many years of, like... It never worked, obviously, because I was still in that, like, low vibrational state, so it never helped. But it was just, like, this thing that I tried to do to make myself feel better. But it never, ever happened. And now that I have changed it, you can watch all of my other videos on how I changed it and stuff, because they all go into the whole, like, internal process of how to get out of depression basically and like change your life so you can watch all of my other videos for that but even now even now that I have changed it and I no longer feel like depressed or anxious as much or anything like that it still happens where I will like wake up and feel like oh kind of thing like oh my god I'm here again <laughs> you know and I realized now because back then I kept thinking like oh I just need to be happy and then I'll feel inspired to get out of bed like that's what I kept thinking and I realized that actually even now 
it's not necessarily about being happy because I am happy and I have so many blessings and so many things to look forward to and so much that I'm doing that I love to do you know so like even now that I've got that happiness it still happens so I'm realizing that it's not actually about happiness at all it's literally just about this experience and like the just the way that this experience works you know like the way that it actually is and feels being in a physical vessel like i realize that it's actually deeper than just your emotional state it's actually like the whole way that this experience works and the way that you're in a vessel like the way that you i don't even know how to put this into fucking words but like the fact that you're in a vessel is gonna take some adjustment if that makes sense so like it's not even about your experience or your external circumstance or how your life looks or anything like that it's literally just about the fact that you're going from the astral realm into the physical and that's a huge energetic shift and takes a minute to adjust especially in the mornings because you do it every morning so like instead of beating yourself up and stressing about the fact that like your life is not what you want it to be or you're not happy in this moment or you've got a thousand thoughts running through your mind right now like instead of going to those thoughts and that mindset it's like oh it's actually it's actually okay because I realise like, oh, I'm waking up out of the astral realm where there's infinite potential and I'm coming into a physical realm where there is infinite potential, but you have to do things in a certain way and have certain intent and certain emotional frequency and certain everything. Like you have to strategically adjust it, which is called magic. Like you have to have the intent behind what you want and like strategically try and get it kind of thing compared to the astral realm where you can literally just go anywhere and do anything, you know? So I don't know. I feel like I'm not really explaining this very well, but I'm just rambling to myself. So <laughs> this is just my thoughts about the fact that like, it's okay to wake up and feel like all over the place or feel unsure or feel uneasy or feel really heavy and stuff. And it's not necessarily anything to do with your circumstances or anything that you're going through. It could literally just be the fact that you're having to energetically shift and adjust, you know, and like that's completely normal and it's bound to happen to a lot of people, especially if you're like highly sensitive and you notice the energy around you and you notice when somebody walks in a room and it feels off, you know, like if you feel energy to that kind of intensity and you're aware of it and you notice it, then going from the astral back into the physical and waking up in the morning is going to make you feel different. It's going to feel a type of way, you know? And it's just about how you process it and how you move through it, which is why I'm learning now to create morning routines where I can like ground into the body, you know, ground into the physical vessel through yoga and meditation and things to like calm the mind and bring myself back into this plane, like allow my thoughts to run crazy to bring myself back into this plane so that I don't feel um, like anxious or fearful or like stressed about my day or anything like that you know because oftentimes we wake up in the morning and we don't think to like check in with ourselves and how we're feeling you'll wake up you'll get dressed you'll have your food you'll go to wherever it is that you've got to go whatever job or school or whatever like that like people have this routine where they're almost on autopilot and you don't notice or pay attention to how your body feels how your mind feels like the thoughts that are running through anything that you need you know self-care that kind of thing because self-care is also a mental thing it's not just a physical thing so like I feel like it's really easy to not even notice or pay attention to that and it's taken me quite a few years to actually implement a morning routine and now I'm starting to do an evening routine as well and of course it's not perfect there's still days where I miss certain things or whatever but I don't know I'm just realizing how key it is to check in with yourself and like if there's something from the day before that's still on your mind and still bothering you to actually like address it and allow those emotions to flow through so that you're not still stressing about it later on in the day. But yeah, 
So anyway, <laughs> I hope this video made a little sense, you know? But I just wanted to share my little perspective because I really do feel that shift in the mornings and maybe I, hopefully, hopefully I'm not the only one, but if I am, fuck it, you know? What can you do? But anyway, thank you so much for listening and watching. Don't forget to check out the description box below for links to my music, our online private community, and also my phone number. Um, you can text and WhatsApp me. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Love always. Pull it down.